Katie Wilson here. I wanted to do a video for you, which is a continuation of my last video of how I have set up my systems in my deal packaging business to allow complete automation and for me to reduce my admin time so I can spend more time doing the high value tasks. So last time we talked about Podio, how to set up an account and how to set up within Podio um, ideally directed for deal packaging. Um, we went through a little bit about direct mail. So what I'm going to show you today is how we connect direct mail, all that data, and put it into Podio with a system called Zapier, which is also free. So all of these systems are free. So if you haven't watched the first video of how to set your Podio up and you haven't got a Podio account, watch that video first and then come back to this video. Okay, so let's get started. So we have our Google spreadsheets with our direct mail addresses on. And basically what we want to do is this is all the data that we've scraped from the internet, the people that we have um, identified that we want to target as we assume that they're motivated so that hopefully we can get some leads and do some deals. What we wanna do is now take all that data and put it into Podio. If you remember in the last video, I went through how to set up Podio, so you should now be at this point, okay? We don't have any data in there, but we're set up, ready to go. So if we go to add an address, we should you should already have all of these fields set up if you've watched the previous video. And basically the, sim the most simplistic way of, of bringing you up to date, if you, are, you haven't seen the first video, is that this is a Google spreadsheet with all the columns across the top. And this is a Podio pretty much spreadsheet with all the columns down the left. So it's the same information it's asking for. So all we're gonna do is use a system called Zapier to match the, the columns to the questions. And then all the data will be pulled into Podio. So really simple, we go to Zapier, set up an account. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a Zap. Really simple. So what we do is we start with Google Spreadsheets. It will ask, do you want uh, to trigger? So when does it do something? When a new spreadsheet row, spreadsheet row is added, not when um, it's updated, because basically you'll end up with duplicate data. So it's a new spreadsheet row. And then you press continue. I think we're running a little bit slow this morning. Just bear with it. Oh, okay, I think it was waiting on me. Okay, so we need to select the spreadsheet account. So we're going to select my Google account where my direct mail uh, spreadsheet is sat. Spreadsheet, so it's gonna ask for the spreadsheet within my Google account, so direct mail. And then it's gonna ask for the worksheet. So you know like when you've got tabs, yeah? So basically we need direct mail. And that's that. So we've done, we're halfway there, test your trigger. It will basically tell you if it works or it doesn't. That's fine. And then we want to put it into Podio. Okay, so um, Podio, it's now going to ask, we want to create an item because at the moment we don't have any data in there. So if I go back, there's no data in the spreadsheets waiting. So uh, in Podio, we want to create a new item. And this isn't that technical, but people seem to struggle with it. So this is how you set it up. So it's already attached to my Podio accounts. But basically what it will do is it will ask for permission to log into your Podio through the app, through the third party app, which is Zapier. You basically just log in, put your username and password, simple. Press continue. Then you choose your organization. So your organization is however many Podio accounts you've got. Katie Wilson property. So if we go to this, that's the organization. And then you've got the workspace. So the workspace, is direct mail, okay? Because we set that up last time, direct mail. And the application, can you remember how we set up, if we go to direct mail from scratch? Do you remember how we set up an app called 
addresses. Yeah, so then we need to find addresses. Simple, really easy to do. Okay, so what it's now asking is to match. We're matching all of this data with all of this data. So today's date is the date that we scraped the data. Today's date look. Yeah, so you just click on it, go to the next one. Motivation, motivation. Link to add, link to add, because we set it up so it'd be exactly the same. So it's really easy. House number, house number. Street, show all options, street. Town, show all options, town. City, city. Postcode, you get, you get in the gist, but I have to go through the whole process now, so you may as well follow me. Asking price, asking price. See how it's pulling over dummy data? It's testing what's already in your Google spreadsheet. Value, so the true value of the property. Twenty five percent BMV offer. Difference. So that's where we look at the difference. If it's less than ten grand, it might be worth going to look at. Maybe not for that one. Number of beds. Number of beds. So all we're doing is copying it and date listed, right? Cool. So that's it. Continue. Test. Everything's got green ticks, so we're happy. Done editing. Turn yours out on. That's it, you're done. Now, it's not gonna instantly, within 10 seconds, pull all of this data into your Podio, but give it an hour or so and then refresh and you will see all of your, you can see them dropping in now, but it doesn't happen straight away. It takes a little while for them all to move over. So you've got hundreds of addresses in here. Now it's gonna start populating them into your Podio. Okay, so just give it a little bit of patience, it will all start to drop in. But the beauty is, right, do you remember how I talked about why we uh, need to use the link, copy the link, so that when we go back, look, this is what it looks like. And in later videos, it will become more apparent as to why we do all the things we do. There is method in the madness. So I hope that's been helpful for you. I will post another video. Um, any comments that you've got, please uh, comment um, below and I will come back and answer all of your questions. If there's any additional content you want me to put on here, please put it in the comments. And then uh, next time we log on, we will see all of the direct mail in our Podio. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with Facebook Messenger and we're gonna systemize that marketing channel. I hope this has been helpful, guys. Thanks for listening.